As a respiratory therapist, of course you must know how to treat and care for adult patients. That's a given, right? With that said, it's often overlooked just how important it is to know how to care for neonatal and pediatric patients as well. Not to mention, you must know how for the TMC exam as well if you want to earn a passing score. So to help, in this video we are going to break down a sample TMC practice question on this topic. So if you're ready, let's get into it. A two-year-old patient is showing signs of a severe asthma attack. The physician orders a bronchodilator that is available in both MDI and SVN doses. Which of the following would be the best delivery system for this patient? A. An SVN using the blow-by technique. B. An MDI with a holding chamber and mask. C. A small volume nebulizer with a mouthpiece. Or D. A breath-actuated MDI with a mask. Do you know the answer? Well, let's break it down. In general, most infants and small children should receive aerosolized drugs with an MDI with a valved holding chamber and a mask. This is usually a more effective delivery method compared to a small volume nebulizer. You should avoid using the blow-by technique with an SVN tube because much of the medication is wasted when using this delivery method. An SVN with a mask could be considered, but oftentimes with small children, they will not tolerate the mask very well. Also note that children generally will not be able to use an SVN with a mouthpiece either because it's unreasonable to expect a young child to use the nebulizer with a mouthpiece for an entire treatment. So by breaking down the question and using what we know about aerosol drug delivery in children, we could determine that the correct answer has to be B an MDI with a holding chamber and mask. Real quick guys, do me a huge favor and hit the like button. Again, it really helps support the channel and I greatly, greatly appreciate it. And while you're down there, go ahead and click the subscribe button as well because we have a ton of other videos on our channel that I think you will enjoy. Well, what'd you think about these practice questions? Was it helpful breaking them down in a simplified way? I hope so, and as I always say, definitely try to go through as many of these as possible when preparing for the TMC exam. Even if you don't use our practice questions, this is still a strategy that I recommend for all students. However, if you do want to get access to all of our premium practice questions, definitely consider checking out our TMC test bank. You can still take advantage of the temporary promotion that's going on by using the special link below. Also, if you want to get these practice questions and explanations sent straight to your inbox on a daily basis, you can consider signing up for our Practice Questions Pro membership, which costs less than one of those fancy cups of coffee that all the kids are drinking these days. It's truly never been easier. All you have to do is sign up and we'll send the practice questions to your email address each and every day. Small tidbits of knowledge over time can add up to huge results. I'll drop a link to that as well right below this video down in the description. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. Have a blessed day and as always, breathe easy my friend.